Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got a really neat quadcopter for you today. Now, you're looking at this and you're saying, oh, it's another CMAX 5C clone. Well, yeah, no, this one, this one is different. Um, looking at it right away, you can feel it, uh, and you can feel it's well built, and it's a good looking machine, actually. It's uh, kind of an um, upgrade to the CMAX 5C. What's different about this one? Well, this one includes altitude hold, for one thing. Um, it has a 720p camera, similar to the X5C, you know, uh, their pod is a little bit smaller, a little bit uh, more sturdy. This actually, hopefully, I'm hoping that uh, this will reduce jello. We'll find that here in a few, shortly. But again, um, it seems much more well built than the X5C, a much higher quality quadcopter than the X5C, and we're going to find out here shortly if that is true. But again, yes, it has altitude hold, um, auto takeoff, auto landing, one key return, headless mode, 720p camera, and uh, just an all around good feeling machine. Uh, looking at its controller, its controller is, a little, is quite a bit different actually than the X5C, especially what you need to do to bind a quadcopter. Uh, to bind the quadcopter, you have to turn on this controller first by turning on its power switch. Then you got to pull down on the throttle uh, knob uh, for about two seconds, and then you'll notice a slow blink blinking light in here. And then you turn on the quadcopter, and it will automatically bind to the quadcopter. Additionally, before you take off, they recommend that you calibrate the quadcopter by putting it on a flat level surface and bringing down the pitch roll stick to the bottom right. And to actually take off, there are two met methods of taking off on this. Um, first, you can put the quadcopter's motor into idle by bringing both of these sticks down and inboard, and that will put the motor into idle, and then you can give it throttle to take off. Or you could do an automatic takeoff by doing a quick press of this button here. A quick press will start the motor um, and take off, and another quick press will land the motor. Uh, you can do an emergency stop with this button by holding it down for two seconds and then the motor will stop and the quadcopter will drop. But this is uh, only do that in case the quadcopter lands in a tree or a bush or crashes. Uh, press this button for two seconds and it will stop the motors immediately. Do not press this, accidentally press this while this is still in air because the quadcopter's motors will stop and the quadcopter will drop in the air. So be careful of this button. Just a quick press is automatic takeoff, quick press is automatic landing. This button here is your headless mode button in one key return. I believe one quick quick press enters into headless mode and another quick press stops headless mode and I believe if you hit hold it for a long period it will enter into one key return. Uh, let's see, rates are this button here. You press that down for intermediate and better getter, intermediate there. and that's expert three beeps and if you want to do flips you press this button here and then tell it which direction to flip so that's the controller in a nutshell well let's go for a flight of the chair wing and see how it performs okay remember first we got to turn this on transmitter on first and then we we notice rapid red blinking here I don't know if you can see that or not but then you pull the stick down and then you notice the slow blinking. So now it's trying to pair up with the quadcopter. Now we turn on the quadcopter with an on-off switch. By the way, the batteries in this uses regular uh, SEMA X5C batteries. And then you hear the beep. Now we're paired. We are ready to go. Okay, so we're going to start the video. This is the video button. This is the photo button. But we're starting the video now. And we got the video light recording. And we're going to do the automatic takeoff first. Okay, remember I didn't calibrate it, so let's do an automatic landing. And here's the automatic landing. Okay, this time, this time, let's calibrate. We are on a flat level surface. Down and to the right. And let's try that automatic takeoff again. Not bad. What about if this loses uh, uh, sight of, or transmission from the transmitter? Let's turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, it automatically lands itself, which is pretty darn cool. So keep that in mind, folks. If this flies out of range of the transmitter, it will land itself. I did turn the quadcopter on, didn't I? No, I did not. <laughs> quadcopter is on. 
Okay, we are bound. Again, calibration. Down and to the right. We'll do automatic takeoff. Okay, we're good. And camera coming on. Okay, let's just fly it around now. Oh, my goodness, it's stable. It is a stable flyer. Real quick, let's do a flip. Let's bring it down and show you that flip. Oh, this is a nice flyer, folks. <laughs> I like this one. This is the cheer wing. Let's take it up. Higher. Show you its camera. We'll go up wind a bit. Wind seems to be from that direction there. Remember, if it loses control, it will descend to landing. Okay. Showing you the area. Slow rotate. There's the high school over there. Coming back toward the city. Pushing forward. And we are recording. And I'm bringing it down lower. Descending. And I'm going to stop the video here because I want to demonstrate something. Video off. What we'll do, we'll do an automatic landing from up there. Quick press. Okay, I press the land button. There we go. There it comes in for a landing. I pressed the land button, so it's doing an automatic descent to landing. This is a neat, neat quadcopter. And I believe it's reasonably priced, too. Coming in for automatic landing. <laughs> Nif nifty quadcopter. Okay, let's take off again. This time, uh, a normal takeoff. And this time I am going to enter into headless mode. So you're pushing forward, pulling back. My goodness, the uh, altitude hold on this works amazingly well. Pulling back, pushing left. Also, this comes with two batteries. They provide you two batteries with this quadcopter, so you don't need to buy extra batteries. It comes with them. But again, it uses just plain old CMAX 5C batteries. Okay, how about uh, headless or one key return? Let's see if this has it. Holding the button down. No, I guess it doesn't have one key return. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> what was that? How did I get that to do that? Let's try it again. You got to go. I pressed. Oh, I don't know what, I, I pressed the headless mode button twice and it did some, something like a one key return. You heard those beeps, right? Okay, I'm in normal, headless mode, and that's one key return. Only I, I'm not sure that it's going the right way. And... I gotta look into that one key return better in the, in the instructions because that wasn't working <laughs> as I thought. It does something weird when you press that. But again, look how stable this thing is. Let's see if I can trim it up to... Listen to the noise it makes as you trim it. Okay, we're center position. And that's it hovering. The altitude holder on this, like I said, is amazingly stable. Let's go back up again. I'm going to start the camera one more time. Video camera's recording. Going up. 
Got a long flight time on this too, and keep in mind I'm recording video right now. Wonderful quadcopter this. I'm going to actually start recommending this over the X5C. <laughs> Especially for its price. This is, this one's a game changer folks, like the uh, H, uh, 502E. This is a much better option than the X5C, especially in its stability. Wonderful flyer. And stop at the camera again to save battery power. How about it? Now let's go to a higher rate. Okay, I entered headless mode again. Okay, we're back out of headless mode. I think this gives you a beeping warning that your battery power is getting low and I think I've just entered it. <laughs> See, you hear that? Hear that? Hear that beeping? That's telling you that the battery power is low, and yeah, you can you can see on the quadcopter that its lights were blinking there. So we are low on battery. Let's see what it does when it, yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> it lands itself. Isn't that cool? I mean, that is cool. You get a low battery warning, that means to bring it, start bringing it back close to you, and then it lands itself. So, again, this is the cheer wing. This is a huge upgrade over the CMAX 5C. I actually like this a lot, and especially at its price. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Again, the cheer wing, Quadcopter 101, signing out.